And with reaction, Fox News contributor Laura Trump, along with football legend, uh, Heisman Trophy winner Herschel Walker. Now, it's interesting having both of you on, um, because I've seen polling on both of you, happens to be for the same office in two different states. Herschel, I have the Trafalgar poll, uh, Robert Cahaley, friend of this program, uh, and he has you beating S as Senator Warnock. Uh, Laura Trump, last poll I saw in terms of getting the nomination, you were up by a whopping 15 points, and uh, a winner, you would win the general election, according to that poll. Uh, so both of you are in a pretty unique position. Herschel, we'll start with you, because I've already pressured Laura enough. She probably hates me right now as a Fox News contributor <laughs> and friend. Um, Herschel Walker, are you considering a run for the U.S. Senate from the state of Georgia? Well, I, I'm honored that they keep uh, saying that if I'm considering it. And uh, as I told everyone, guys, I'm weighing my options. But I can promise you this, and this is probably what the pollsters have seen, that if I run, I'm running to win. Because right now what's going on in this country is absolutely, absolutely terrible. I believe in God. I believe in country. And I believe in family. And I can tell you all Americans are my family. It is sad that people are not standing up for the law. Uh, I believe in law and order. I hate to tell everyone out there this country was built on that. I'm tired of hearing about black America, white America, Asian America, uh, uh, Hispanic America. This is the United States of America, and we got to get back to that. We got to get leaders in Washington that believe in that, and that's, we, that's how we're going to fix this here. Do I hear Georgia's on your mind? I don't know. It sounds a little bit like that to me. Well, George is always on my mind. It's been on my mind, and uh, that's what people don't realize. Yeah. Just because I was living in Texas, I, you know, I, I have a lot of stuff there in Georgia, and uh, you know, and that's why I say I'm honored that they're considering me running for Senate. But I do have to do all my due diligence and uh, and see what in the world is going on, and and then I'm gonna I'm gonna weigh my options and figure this out. And if you run, you're in to win. You know, Laura, I guess it's probably a lot of trouble. Oh, there's uh, no doubt. There's no doubt. Laura, I assume in your case there's a lot of pressure, but it is amazing that you, you really, the American people and the people of North Carolina, that's your home state, that's where you were born and raised, know you so well, they're showing incredible confidence in you. Um, that's well, got to give you reason to pause yeah. somewhat, no? <laughs> It, absolutely. Look, I am so honored. I'm so humbled when I see these polls. Um, it, it's it's amazing to see, it and I and I appreciate it so much. And uh, I, I'm going to echo there what Herschel said. We need strong leaders. We need people in 22 and 24 that have the best interests of the American people at heart. Because uh, you're exactly right, Herschel. What we have seen happen in America, it, it's so tragic. It's so disturbing. We've got to get this country back on track. So um, I love seeing this polling. I'm so honored. I, obviously, as you said, my home state, I love it. Um, it is a decision that I am also weighing. Um, again, nothing to break here on Hannity tonight. Uh, but maybe Herschel and I will come back together and give you our final decision. We'll see. Okay. It would be like the final episode of The Apprentice. We'll, we'll, we'll do a two-hour <laughs> special, you know. Um, you, both of you touched on something, though. This agenda of the Democrats, the spending, the borders, uh, packing the courts, ending the legislative filibuster, everything that they're proposing, I've never seen anything like it. And I've never been more concerned, Herschel and Laura, uh, and Laura will let you have first cry. I've never been concerned about the direction of the country like I am now. Well, it, it starts at the top. It starts, unfortunately, with the president right now, Joe Biden. And uh, there is a total lack of leadership. Um, it's been very sad to see, obviously, what has happened on our southern border, the fact that uh, that has not been addressed by, in any way, shape, or form by our vice president, Kamala Harris, who was tasked with that three-plus weeks ago now. She hasn't visited. She hasn't held a press conference about it. Um, you see so many people that I think feel very disturbed, and we're only in April right now. Uh, Joe Biden took office January 20th. So if you're upset about the way things are going now, just hold on. We haven't even talked about what's happening around the world as it relates to America. Remember when Donald Trump was in office, it was America first. We were protected. We were safe. We took care of our country. Um, it, it seems very different now. So um, look, I, I think the American people come 2022 
are going to be ready for a significant change. And I think by 24, they're going to be totally done with the Harris-Biden, Biden-Harris, however they're calling it, uh, in the White House. Herschel, we'll give you the last word tonight. Um, you see now internationally aggression by China, aggression by Russia, aggression by the Iranians. Uh, we have no idea what North Korea is up to. And then look at the economy and, and look at the high taxes that are coming. Look at all the regulation. Look at all the jobs being lost in the energy sector, for example. Well, I think people should be very concerned about all this. And the reason why is we were the greatest country in the world. Right now, we're going to give China an opportunity to take us over. And I think one thing that we got to do, we got to fight for it. We are Americans. And if people don't like it, and I hate to say this, get out. Right now, we got to fight for America. I think we got to get leaders in Washington that want to fight for America because right now we're giving it away. And I don't want to do that. I'm going to be honest. I'm not giving it away. I'm going to fight for it. I'm going to do whatever I can for it. And that's the reason I say I'm going to weigh my fight, my, my opportunity here. And I want to thank everyone in America for it. I want to thank everyone in Georgia. But I, I will let you know, as Laura just said, you know what, maybe we'll come back and, and give someone some, uh, some news and let them know what's going to be going on. America needs strong leaders that make promises and fight to keep them. It's not that complicated. Thank you both. Laura Trump, thank you. Herschel Walker, thank you.